Hey guys, Ty Coleman here. If you don't know me, I've sold millions of dollars worth of products online. I've helped just scores of people uh, across the planet to really um, get options and freedoms in their life, right? Options and freedoms that allow them to do what they wanna do with who they wanna do when they wanna do it, regardless of if they have the money or the cash flow or not. And I got to tell you, one of the, I, I've helped scores and scores of business owners and people that want to be business owners. And one of the biggest mistakes that I see a lot of people who make, especially new people, is being afraid of selling. Like being afraid of putting a word out there uh, about their product, their service, being afraid of um, creating content, being afraid of letting people know that they have something to sell. It, it is the strangest thing ever that people who say they want to make money are afraid of asking for the sale. And then what gets even stranger is people are afraid of doing exactly what I'm doing here in this video. And that is creating content, creating a video, right? I'll find that one of the biggest obstacles that a lot of the business owners that I work with who should be creating videos are terrified to death of creating videos. So I want to talk to those of you who might fall into that category, right? If you are someone who knows that you should be creating videos, who knows that you should be getting more visibility for your products out there, who knows that you should be using platforms like YouTube and uh, many of the other platforms that are out there. Maybe you should be podcasting. Maybe you should be, you know, on Instagram. Maybe you should be creating TikTok videos, not the dance videos, but videos that build awareness around what it is that you do. If you are that person that's scared to death, then hopefully in the next couple of minutes, I'll be able to help you. So the first thing that I want to share with you is that, listen, it's just a piece of machinery, right? It's just a phone. It's uh, I'm shooting this thing on a phone right here, my cell phone. There's people that are walking past me here. There's people that are riding back and forth. I don't give a damn about those people. What I care about is making sure that my message gets out to you. Here's what I want you to start, start saying to yourself. I have to care less about the people that are around me who I think are going to judge me in a certain way because I know that's, that's what happens, right? It's what happened when I first started shooting video. Even now to this day, right? Until I catch myself and I'm like, Ty, why, did you, why do you even give a damn about these people? Create the content. Serve your audience that you are put here on this earth to serve. Once I recognize that and push past that, everything is good. The second thing is, you know, it is just a piece of machinery. It's just a machine. It's just a phone. 99.9% of you guys should be creating your videos on phones. You don't need a bunch of complicated, you don't need uh, machinery that's the best of the best machinery, right? Um, listen, I, up until just actually two weeks ago, I was still shooting my videos on iPhone 10. iPhone 10, guys. Right, so you don't need the best of the best. Some of you guys think that you need the best information, you need the best machinery, you need the best equipment, and that is all just a form of procrastination. It's procrastination in another way. That's exactly what it is, right? The third thing is you don't need to have the best content. Like a lot of you guys get afraid of making sure that whatever message you're going to put out there, it's 100% perfect. So you're screwing around with teleprompters, you're screwing around with trying to tape up your message behind your phone so you can read it. You're doing all types of stuff. Trust me, I did it, right? I know because I did that. And it did not come out authentic. It didn't come out genuine, right? It didn't come out as believable as it should. People buy into you. They buy into who you are. And that's the fourth thing, right? You're trying to be too damn professional. Like you think that your audience wants you to, to speak the right way. They, they need you to enunciate your words the right way. They don't want to hear you use slang every once in a while, right? You, you have to have a clear, concise message. That is the closest thing to BS that you'll ever get. And the reason why is, and regardless of what market it is, right? Because I hear people who say all the time, well, Ty, I deal with attorneys or I deal with uh, stock traders or I deal with people who are, um, you know, uh, Fortune 500 business owners. Those folks relate to regular people and they want to be taught. They want to be um, kind of informed and they want to be educated by regular people as well. 
right? They are tired of pretending so much. They go to work and they go into these environments where people are just putting on ears and they're pretending so damn much. So when you create natural videos and you give them the rough, rugged and raw, they really are able to relate to you, right? I've tested all of this stuff out. I've tested shooting videos in a suit. I've tested shooting videos, slowing down and trying to be calm and, you know, just trying to be something that I'm not and everything else. And the videos where I just come out and I speak my purpose, always do the best. All right. So hopefully those things have helped you out right there. Listen, just go out and start practicing. No one gets it right the first time. Just go out and start practicing. All right. And then the more you do it, the better you'll get. It's just like riding a bicycle. Remember, and some of you guys are really old and you probably don't remember this. So I got a freaking bug on me. So things like that are going to happen, right? You'll be walking in the woods like this on a bike trail, walking trail, and you might have a bug come up. So what? Keep it going, All right? So remember, it's just like riding a bike. Learn how to ride a bike the first time. The better you got at it, the more you did it, the better you got at it. The more you did it, the better you got at it. All right? And then the very last thing that I want to share with you is whatever content you shoot, get in the habit of posting. Even if it's dark like this, all right? I'm, I'm walking under a ride app right here. All right? This is the road up above me. And most people wouldn't, wouldn't publish that, all right? But that's the realness of it. That's that rough, rugged, and raw that I spoke about before, right? Whatever content you shoot, get in the habit of saying, whatever I shoot, I'm going to publish. Because the more you condition and discipline yourself to do that, the better you'll get at it. The more you condition and discipline yourself to just say, okay, I'm going to shoot this video. I'm going to start. I'm going to hit the record button. And regardless of what happens, I'm going to upload it to YouTube. When you start to do that, you get better really quickly. All right? Even if I fall and I slip and I fall in a piece of dog doodle here on the trail commit to publishing it when you do that your brain starts to say listen we can't look like an idiot we can't slip on this thing and fall in a piece of dog doodle so we got to get this thing right All right those are the things that work for me those are things that i know that have worked for other people i know people who have pages that do extremely extremely well and they uh they don't overcomplicate the process. They go out there and they film. I don't care who it is that you follow. Go in and look at the individual that you follow on YouTube. Here's what I want you to do, all right? To see how terrible, if they're honest with themselves, go over and look at, go back years and years. If they've been shooting videos for years, right? And go over to their YouTube channel and then click on uh, all videos and then sort by you can sort by newest and I think it's latest or oldest or something like that, it should say. Sort by oldest. And if they still have some of their original videos up, look at how terrible those things were, right? I don't care who it is. Go in and I want you to do that. Do that with five different people that you kind of follow on YouTube right now. Do it with my videos and you'll see. And maybe you might say, hey, Ty, your videos are still terrible. I can kill less because there's a lot of people that love them. And I know that tomorrow as I continue to shoot more videos and then next week as I continue to shoot more videos and next month and next year those videos will all be better than this video so commitment and consistency baby that's how you do it hey listen if this video has helped you if you want to hear more on how I overcome some of the challenges because listen if you want to be successful at anything there's a lot of challenges that you have to overcome right there's a lot of things that you have to overcome and to be honest with you most people won't overcome those things because you have to be super ambitious you have to be super disciplined and to be honest with you only about four to five percent of the people that are out there are disciplined enough to keep on it with it right to keep going to keep going to keep going the question is what group do you fall into do you fall into that 95 percent or do you fall into that five to four percent we're going to keep going. So if you want to hear more videos, or hear more on how I just get past this stuff, let me know and I'll share with you because there's a lot that I do. All right? We'll see you. Post in the comments also and let me know which of the tips that I gave you in this video was your favorite tip. Let me know.